In today's artificial intelligence class, we will see the Beam search algorithm that will come under the informed heuristic search strategies from second unit. And in this class, we will see the definition of Beam search algorithm and we will see one simple example to explain this Beam search algorithm. First, let us see the definition. A heuristic search algorithm that examines a graph by extending most promising nodes in the limited set is known as beam search algorithm. Okay. See when come to this particular graph, this is the root node. This root node is having 4 children. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 children. Among these 4 children, we need to select only the most promising nodes. Only the most promising nodes which heuristic value is minimum. Okay. That is lowest heuristic value and we need to set select the beam width for example if beam width is 2 then among these 4 children 3 4 4 children we need to select the minimum heuristic value nodes that is only 2 nodes for further expansion that is the algorithm keeps the lowest number of nodes in the open list. So, as per our example that is beam width equal to 2, then only these two nodes will be selected for this open list, right? The components of beam search. Here uh, we are having three components. The first one is problem and second one is set of heuristic rules for pruning and third one is the memory with limited available capacity, okay? First, let us see this problem. Problem is normally represented as graph which contains a set of nodes. That is a collection of nodes in which one or more goal nodes may be there. Okay. This is the starting node. That is the root node. From the root node, we are having more number of uh, the other nodes. Okay. And one or more goal may be there. The double circle represent the goal node, right? So, this is our problem. And second one is a set of heuristic rules for pruning. For example, if the beam size is 2, if the beam size is 2, then we need to select only these two nodes whose heuristic value is minimum, right? So, by applying those heuristic nodes, heuristic rules, we need to prune the unwanted subtree or unfavorable nodes, right? And the third one is memory with limited available capacity. Here we are setting this beam size. If memory is full, then the most costly node will be deleted from the open list. Hence, the memory limit will not be exceeded. Okay. So, these are important components of beam search. First one is the problem state space and second one is a set of heuristic rules for pruning unwanted nodes and third one is the memory with limited available capacity. Now, let us see one example problem for beam searching algorithm. So, in this diagram, we are having C is the root node. C is the root node that is starting state and two goal states are there. The first one is Z, this is the goal state and the second one is L. So, two goal states are there and given beam size equal to 2 that is N equal to 2 beam size. Okay, let us start the first iteration. So, we will start from the root node. Hence, in the open list, we are having only C. The node C is placed in the open list. Okay, now, we need to expand this C. What are the successors of C? We are having B, T, O, E and P. So, these are all successors of C. Among all these things, uh, the value of successor T and O are minimum. Okay, when compared to all the other nodes, these two nodes heuristic value will be minimum. Hence, 
from the open list we need to remove c from the open list and add t and o in the open list right so this is iteration 2 when come to iteration 3 t the first node in the open list is tree isn't it so t has no successor because this is the leaf this is the leaf node isn't it hence we have to remove t from the open list so in the open list we are having only o okay only o is the next now we need to expand this o the neighbors of o are i and n right so find the successor of o replace o with i and n in the open list then the new open list contains i and n so these two okay when come to iteration 4 so currently in the open list we are having i and n isn't it these two are the in the open list and uh, now we will expand this node i the successor of i is z okay the successor of i is z and z is the goal state hence the program will get terminated now let us try to find the path what is the path here from c c to o so c o i z so this is the path from starting state to goal state now let us see the evaluation of beam search algorithm first the beam search algorithm is not complete algorithm okay this is an incomplete algorithm for example um, this is 4 the value is 4 and there is no goal state here okay if the beam size is 2 then what will happen only these two nodes will be selected for uh, uh, selected in the open list isn't it hence we cannot reach the goal we cannot reach the goal so this is called as an incomplete algorithm right and second one it is not optimal so by using beam search algorithm we cannot find the optimal solution because this algorithm is highly dependent on the heuristic value only the heuristic value right suppose if this value is 24 then this is the optimal goal isn't it okay so based on the heuristic value only we can reach the goal hence this is not optimal algorithm and the time complexity and space complexity is order of uh, b into m here b is nothing but the beam width and m is nothing but the maximum depth of any path in the search tree so this is the depth right so this is the evaluation of beam search algorithm if the beam size is 1 then the beam search algorithm is turned to best first searching algorithm right see if we increase the beam size then the best first will be changed to beam search algorithm and when compared to a star searching technique the time and space complexity will be very much reduced in the beam searching algorithm because a star searching is a complete algorithm and optimal algorithm to find the best path from starting state to goal state or to find the best solution among more number of solutions in the search space isn't it so that that is a star searching algorithm but the very big uh, drawback of a star searching algorithm is the space and time taken time taken to reach the goal isn't it so to overcome those drawback we can introduce this beam searching algorithm so based on the size of this beam this algorithm uh, reduced at least 70 percent of space and time up to this we have seen the beam searching algorithm that will come under informed searching strategies that is heuristic searching strategies from the second unit problem uh, solving by searching right in the next class we will see another important uh, searching algorithm from second unit thank you